all right capricorn what is going on baby it's it's me it is she it is is v red is scorpion red tarot i am back at it again one time for the one time to let you guys know what the energies are surrounding you for october 2020 show me the monthly energy i hope all of you are collected and gathered together and feeling in a very festive and free mood let me turn my light on you guys um I want to say shout out to every last one of you, to all my OGs, to all my newbies who's been booking, liking, sharing, subscribing to my videos. Um, thank you so much for all the love and support that you guys have been um, sending during this COVID shutdown. As y'all know, my birthday is coming up on Sunday, October the 25th. So if you guys want to send some love or just send me a message of happy birthday. Y'all come check me out on Instagram. Um, that's the best way to contact me. Um, if you guys want to send some love in any type of form or fashion, check out the um, Amazon wish list, the Cash App, the PayPal. All that stuff is in the description and the about tab on my youtube page if you guys want to book if these videos resonate the number one way to support is by clicking the like button but if you want to book a personal private reading i do instagram uh video chat readings i only do video chats if you do not have instagram you can connect with me on google hangout it's an easy app to download the only thing that we need to exchange is our email so if you do not have instagram and you do want to do a video reading with me just email me at scorpionreds at gmail.com. Again, at scorpion scorpionreds at gmail.com. I'll help you get all set up on um, G, on um, Google Hangouts. And we'll be all set and we'll do your video reading and you'll be good to go. So Capricorn, um, uh, let me just say this. I have a cousin of mine who is a crazy, crazy Capricorn. And when I tell you that girl is <laughs> a blast in the glass, that girl is a damn mess. She, I just got off the phone with her, you guys, and she just said that um, she's been around three proposals. Three proposals. She's seen three people get proposed to in less than a month. Three. That's crazy. And I said, girl, that, that must be, uh, you, you must be next. You must be next. But she is, <laughs> I love that girl. She is a damn mess. Um, I am going to say that, um. She has made a major transition and um, she has overcome a lot and she is so deserving of every single thing that is happening in her life right now and um, on behalf of me to all of the Capricorns out there that is uh, y'all really really been trying to stay out of trouble man y'all have really been trying to stay out the way and do the right things. I just want to say thank you to God for protecting and, and looking after all of y'all and pulling all of y'all through that because it wasn't easy, bruh. God, well, I feel like I'm about to cry because it's just like I know, I know how hard my cousin fought with herself to get to where she's at right now and be surrounded by so much love. And I had to tell her, I said, you know, um... Sometimes we don't have positive relationships because we're not surrounded by people that are in positive relationships. So if you were surrounded by three people in less than a month's time and all three of these people got proposed to right in front of your face and you was there to witness that, number one, that's God acknowledging that you've cleaned up your surroundings. You ain't around no trash no more. You're around people that love and want to be loved. You're next. So, um... Yeah, I just had to share that with you guys. So, I'm going to do my prayer like I normally do. I'm going to keep it a little short because I know I was just chatting it up with y'all just now. But, Father God, I thank you so much for believing in us. I thank you so much for achieving with us. I thank you so much for giving us the strength to continue to move forward, Father God. You know, Capricorn, we all about the glitz and glamour and the money and the honey, Father God. You know we like the good stuff, Father God. But, um... It's all about how you achieve it. And it's all about how you maintain it. We have to learn to slow down and stop trying to get things the fast way, the easy way. And actually just like do things with a sense of value. So it'll be there forever. You know? So now that we finally got our life together, Father God, all thanks to you. We just 
want to acknowledge you in our life and just thank you. And we want to continue to move ahead, Father God. So give us guidance for the sign of Capricorn for October 2020. Show me the money energy. And we just thank you. And we love you, Father God. Amen. Let's get into this, y'all, because y'all ain't about to have me emotional. Hold on. Normally, we be having fun up at Capricorn reading. So, you know, we be cutting up up in here. So, y'all ain't about to have me all emotional. I'm emotional and I can't let go. I've been trying to hold on to you. <laughs> no, we ain't singing that shit. Fuck that damn shit. We uh we rebuking that energy in the name of Jesus. Alright, come on. Give me guidance for Capricorn. October 2020. Show me the money energy. We lay all the cards face down. If you guys want to go ahead and put a timestamp when I get all of the cards out. That would be great. That one right there. That's good. That is good. So, let's see what we got for my cat. Ooh, the three of swords in the reverse. Yes, ma'am. Y'all said, fuck that shit. Look, I ain't tripping over that old bullshit. I'm focused on putting my heart back together, okay? And being blessed and fabulous in any type of weather, man. I'm, look, a lot of y'all getting over that heartbreak. Y'all feeling not worthy, feeling rejected, causing a whole bunch of drama and confusion in your own life by your own decisions. Y'all are just really staying out of the way, man. And hurt people hurt people. You know what I'm saying? Like, a lot of the times people don't understand if you got hurt by a Capricorn, that's because someone hurt them. You know? And it's like this. Either you become the predator or the prey. <laughs> Like you hurt me, motherfucker. You only got one time to hurt me, cause then I'm 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 a, I'm gonna turn into the predator. You know what I'm saying? Like I'm not about to lay down here like no prey. You know? Like y'all wanna play the game? I'm gonna play the game with you. Shit. You know what I'm saying? So it's like that's how things started. You know what I'm saying? But it's not how things it's not how things are going to end. You know what I'm saying? So. I feel like Capricorn just wants some peace. When you surround yourself around drama, you don't do nothing but perpetuate more drama in your life. You guys, I really do feel like want more healthy relationships around you. Well, at least my cousin does, so I'm hoping that you guys do. And a lot of the readings that I've been doing for you guys, y'all have been really in a state of strength and power. And like, that's, that's really how y'all collective readings have been going. I mean, you guys have been setting your boundaries with people, recognizing people for who they are, like protecting your comfort. And that's the thing, a lot of people don't even have a state of comfort. So if you got comfort, you gotta protect it, baby. Got the wheel. Let's hope that wheel of fortune come back on our common skills. I've been balanced. I feel like things are looking all right for you guys. So let's see. Let's see what the cards say. Let's get on over here to Miss Crazy Eye. Let's see what's going on after her world. Ooh, the two of hearts. Yes, ma'am, Miss Pam. All right, I like green eggs and ham, but that motherfucker's in the reverse, even though I really try not to read that in the reverse. And I don't know why I flipped that up before I did the general energy, but I felt like it. And that's the way I'm going to do it. So we got the two hearts. Oh, I beg your pardon. Ooh. Get rid of all of the damn rats, honey. All of the rats and all of the little vermin and stuff. Like, oh, I beg your pardon. Y'all might as well just go on over that way. Thank you very much. Sorry for you. Not paying any attention to you. Sorry. So, ah. Uh, 
Did they got ferrets and shit? <laughs> Did y'all hear what Tony Braxton called Tate, my boyfriend, a ferret? Bitch, I died. Listen, y'all are getting rid of all of the rats, the rodents, the ferrets, the peasants, all of that stuff. Oh, I beg your pardon. I really do feel like you guys are allowing people to kind of just like wash theirself away or fall to the wayside or something. You guys are rejecting any type of love that really doesn't come with deep intimacy and companionship. With this two of hearts, this is really about like emotional commitment on both ends. You know what I'm saying? You love me. I love you. Like, you know, I want to bring what we both have together and create like this fantasy love, like this, this, this romantic, like voyage, like it's like I always just want to. I'm picturing this, you know what I'm saying? Like, I don't know why I'm. It's just like I don't even know. Like when y'all sleep with each other, do y'all be having y'all legs like crossed up in each other like that? Have y'all, you know, when you sleep and you be having your legs tied up under your man like that? It's just like. I feel like you're looking past everyone else. I, I, I realize that all of the people before this one really was ferrets, rats, vermins, and varmints. You know what I'm saying? Like, they were trash. They were bottom feeders. They were bottom dwellers. They're saying rodents. Like, they're fucking rodents. You know what I'm saying? It's like... I want something that really appears to my heart, my mind, my body, and my soul. I'm letting these rodents wash away for some reason. I really do feel like you're rejecting any part-time love. It's like, I don't want no part-time love. I don't want nothing that... Because if you think about rodents, rodents eat the trash. Rodents, it's, it's like, ugh, ugh, ugh. It's like, I don't want no... Look, it's this or something better. So again, you might be looking at all your past lovers, like looking at them like they're rats, they're varmints, they're rodents. Like, is, is this or something better? You know what I'm saying? So it's like, I might be, listen, oh, I beg your pardon. Like, they be may, they may be coming, trying to come back to you during the retrograde. Oh, I beg your pardon, what you got to say? It's having me dealing with this or something better. I choose the something better. Thank you. Sorry for you. You guys are rejecting any type of part-time lover i don't want no part-time lover i want a full-time brother okay hello look the hermit in the reverse you guys have went inside you guys know exactly who you are what you want you guys like even you might have did an itemization of everything that you put in everything that you lost everything that you gained in old relationships and things like that and this shit ain't turn out the same for you like maybe what you put out it ain't turn out what you put out, it might have turned out good for them, but it didn't turn out the same for you. And it's like something that you know that like you, you, you decided to stop giving so much to other people and to give to yourself and to find a light in yourself. And it's like now that I'm rebuilt myself, now that I'm redetermined and I'm focused on having betterment around you, I, it's like I want to say you guys could have cut everybody off for a minute to kind of get your shine back i feel like now you're glowing like when you go outside people be like damn you look so pretty did you change something you put something on your skin or you and you just like man i'm just drinking water look drink water okay drink water okay drink water eat healthy like don't surround yourself around trash like that's what this person did that's what this person did they're hydrating Cause it's like I hate looking thirsty. You get it? It's like I hate looking thirsty. So it's like I went inside. I was hydrating, get my electrolytes together. Okay, I'm not even worried about them rats and vermin no more. I don't even hang around that type of trash. I'm coming out glowing. This is like you not want to seclude yourself indoors anymore. It's like. I know what I know, and I'm ready to go where I want to go. Um, you might have 
climbed yourself to the top of the mountain just to meditate and have some time to yourself. Now you're coming back down with that glow on. Okay? You out there like Daniel's son. You understand what I'm saying? Or, um, what's that, what's that damn movie? Where the, where, where the dude, um, Master Leroy, he caught the bullet, uh, with his teeth and shit. That nigga, when you got that glow, bitch, you hear me? When you got that glow, bitch, you walk right past rats, varmints, and vermin, honey. You know, you got the glow, baby. I don't have time for that. Ooh, the shallow grave. You missed someone. Well, someone is missing you. The shallow grave. Yeah, you might have put someone in a ditch, baby. You most definitely moved on from something because you were ready for transformation. You got your little Halloween. Listen, come on, girl. I feel like you got your little Halloween outfit on. You ready for Halloween? You might have just re-dyed your hair. I feel like someone just dyed their hair. Like you dyed your hair black. I feel like to cover up the grays or something. Because you felt like... I want to say something was growing old. So you might have covered up your grays or something like that. It's like... Someone was stressing you out and could you could have grown gray hairs or something. That's why you secluded yourself from it's it it, it was either this or something better. I'm I want to be by myself right now. You know what I'm saying? Like I want to be by myself right now. And again, like anytime I see that skeleton on any of these cards, I take this as a low vibrational negative energy that is trying to suck the positive light out of you. You know what I'm saying? So, you could have had a freaking succubus around you. You know what I'm saying? Someone that has no personality, has no life skills, has no determination in their life. You know what I'm saying? And you were determined to separate yourself, to find yourself, to really search and find true healthy love. I feel like this person doesn't know what true healthy love is. They search for it within you. You know what I'm saying? But you couldn't search for it within them because they didn't have anything. They didn't have anything. That's why you had to go inwards into self because you have to find your light again because I really do feel like someone was trying to suck your energy dry. Varmints, vermin, they're bottom feeders, they're low dwellers. I want true love. The Ten of Wands. The Ten of Wands is like, I only got a little bit to go left from here. So you're not going to stop me. I don't have time to show you the way. I don't have time to take you where I'm going. I'm going alone. I'm going alone. You see how this person is just standing back there like, oh, like. With the, uh. I feel like you're going alone. This person thinks that they're going with you, but they're not going with you. I feel like that person is going that way. You're going this way. Y'all can't see what I was saying. But I feel like this person might have been waiting for God to light your flyer. For you to get your passions going again. For this new beginning. It's like they feel like they want to journey with you. But I don't think that they're... You put this person in a shallow grave. The Ten of Wands is like a burden. It's something that is hard to carry. You know what I'm saying? And it's like you may be carrying something by yourself. It's like that man might be right next to you. But you've been doing a lot of things by yourself. Like you thought that this person was going to help you. But instead they're just sitting there sucking you dry. Expecting you to still love. Expecting you to still give with that Two of Hearts. But you're having a change of hearts. You said, oh, I beg, I beg your pardon. I feel like you're going in another direction. They just said you brought this person to this point in your life just to show them, just to drop them right there where they stand because this Ten of Wands is going to the Ace of Wands. That's a new beginning. But that doesn't mean that we need to begin this together. 
You got to figure out your journey on your own. And I know you may miss me, but it's either this or something better. I can't carry you on my back. I can't make the decisions for us. You know, like I, we got to collectively do this together. Or oh, I'm, I'm willing to separate. Tens represents endings. So it's like I've brought you here. Now it's time for you to lead yourself on your own. You brought this person to this point to bury it. This person came to you in this point in your life. I want to say so that you can see that you can do bad by yourself. You can do a lot by yourself. If it's not good company, ain't no point in having company at all. You got yourself to that top of that mountain. You put yourself through this to find your own inner worth and to come back down successful. Not feeling like that you have to take the responsibility on of someone that wants to be a bottom feeder and a bottom dweller. I beg your pardon. It's this or something better. This person may miss you, but I miss myself. I miss myself. You got the justice card. Karmic balance. The truth. Respect. Honor. You know? Like this could be the justice system. This could be court. Um, you may be coming out of hiding right now with that hermit in reverse. And you may be owning up to something and, 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 and looking justice in the eye and say, yeah, I did that. You know what I'm saying? And I had to bury it. You know what I'm saying? Like, I had to get rid of it. You know what I'm saying? And, um, well, I feel like this is child support now. I feel like this is child support or like alimony or something like that. Cause they literally did, did just tell me it was child support. It's like, there, there's no love here anymore. Um, I just want to separate and go my own way. Like, there's no love lost or anything like that. I just, I just want to pay my respects and just kind of, like, move on a little bit. Um, and it's like, I feel like the, the court... The court isn't listening to everyone's back sob stories and emotions. Like, the court is doing the fair, right, and just thing. So, it's like... Even though this person may be missing you and they may not have nothing of their own, you know, or identity, but that's their fucking fault. That's not your fault. Like the court is not going to allow someone to live and leech off of you just because, look, everyone got the same 24 hours in a day. If you don't want to go out there and accomplish something and do something with yourself, that's on you, motherfucker. You understand what I'm saying? Like, this person should not have to keep their self in hiding and keep all of their resources in reserve because they're in fear of you taking it. You know what I'm saying? Oh, I beg your pardon. If you want to be a part of the rats and rodent tribe, then you go ahead and do that. But she going to move on. You're going your way. Look, look at standing there looking stupid. You're going your way and she's going her way. Justice has been served. Knock, knock, we laying this to, to rest. I really do feel... Look, the page of wands, graduation. <laughs> Look, it's like you finally received, like, some communication that you're free, that you can start over, that you could really, like, pay attention to your passions now. Because I feel like you don't have the responsibility of having to carry a bottom dweller with you anymore. It's like you're... you're you, you've successfully graduated. You know what I'm saying? Like, you're... You're grown now. You know what I'm saying? Like you. Like this is someone. Completing school. Like you might have just got your diploma. And it's time for you to start your life as an adult. Again. You know what I'm saying? So. Justice has been served. Like you passed all of your tests. Like. You did a good job. And now it's time to go out there and to start life in abundance again. I want to say like you might have buried immaturity. You've made it this far. It's like, I, look, this ten of wands, I didn't make it this far not to be able to 
start my life over the way that I did. Like you, 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 you've gone through every freaking stage that you were supposed to, and I feel like the last test was to leave someone where they were. You know, and you did. Shallow grave. Someone's misses you, but I have to transform with them butterflies. I can't stay in this. I can't. I can't do this shit. This ain't love. This is not right. Listen, the seven of wands. You see this person? You see these running away together? The seven of wands going into the eight of wands. So you might have... Ooh, and if you see this, you see they, they set... They burnt the circus. So these two people were part of a circus. They were... A pair, like a circus act or something like that. But the circus was not treating them fairly. They were not getting their just due. They put in a lot of work with unfair pay. I want to say that they even tried to replace one of the acrobats. Like these were the two original acrobats. Like they could have tried to replace her with someone else and then she like hold on bitch like I'm the one that started this gangster shit and you wanna tell me this the thanks I get no fuck this cause the seven of wands is conflict do you understand what I'm saying it's combativeness back and forth disagreements people trying to like like this is someone that is willing to lie to prove a point or two like this is someone to try to set someone up So this is like, this is someone that could have said that, um, okay, okay, they're saying someone so didn't come to work today. So this is like a situation where you were supposed to come in at work at seven, right? But a shady supervisor told you to come in at nine. And this shady supervisor knew you were supposed to come in at, line, at 9, but they're trying to replace you with someone else because they don't like you or something like that. So it's like when you show up to work, like they might try to fire you or something like that. And you're like, hold on. This person told me to show up at this time. That's why I showed up at this time. And then like this person's trying to lie on you and everything. But I want to say you had the proof of whoever the, your partner was believed you. And I want to say that you guys escaped together because it's like. You guys escaped together. But I still feel like she's leaving this person on his own. Because the Seven of Wands going into the Eight of Wands, the Eight of Wands represents a lot of new beginnings and communication and just like positive communication. Like a lot of, like as soon as you, as soon as you two left this stressful energy, I feel like it was people trying to put y'all against each other or something. And then y'all just said, but he allowed, like someone allowed it to, they allowed someone to do it. And that's why I feel like. The Capricorn is graduating past this situation. It's like we went through that. I want to say it's like y'all went through that together for a reason, but it was intended for y'all to separate and go on a separate journey. You go your way, I'm going my way. It's like I graduated. I learned what I was supposed to learn from this situation. Maybe... We came together for us to learn how to walk away. Because I want to say that you two were cool, but this environment was not promoting you guys to love, was not promoting you guys to heal each other, was not promoting you guys to work with each other in an efficient and effective way that could benefit everyone around you understand like because there was so much chaos and conflict in the seven of wands you did move forward into the eight of wands looking for 
new lines of open positive communication because it was too dramatic here you know what i'm saying so it's like we escaped together but we escaped with the purpose for us to move on and find a new life separately because it was just too much that went on here and i want to say that you guys burnt the village down together so like whoever these people were that were trying to put you guys i don't, I don't know what type of drama like you graduated past this like justice and karma was served like everyone got what they would what they deserved in this situation and I, I really do feel like whoever this man is ended up getting left behind because they keep saying you allowed them to put me there so you allowed them to it's like this person entertained the competition in some type of way and it's like God gave him his life to go this way and now he's giving you your way. Like, just bury this shit and move the fuck on. You know what I'm saying? Because he's part of the fucking rats too. I really do feel like that, y'all. Look, the six of swords. You moving on. Mentally, knowing that like this person cannot come with me because this person was a part of that circus, was a part of that... Uh, was a part of the circus. Like, they were a part of the fucking circus. You were... One of the reasons why I left the circus, like, because of the drama that was mixed up with you. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. And, and I want to say that you guys might have ran away together. But once you got to the end, once you got to the end and God started to light your flame, started to light your light up, you knew intuitively this person cannot come with me. You cannot come with me. I have to set my sails high. I have to listen to spirit. God told me to move alone. Alone. I can't take on anybody's baggage. Because the nine of wands is like someone carrying baggage that they need to release. That they need to release. It's trying to do something too much by itself. And this is travel. You guys have moved. You guys listen to your gut. And I want to say you let spirit decide for you you let spirit decide for you and you graduated that's why a lot of new communication is going because when God told you to run you ran and when you ran and God told you to let motherfuckers go you let go and when God told you to stick your 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 um thing out so he can light your flame you lit your flame you know what I'm saying? And when, and when the retrograde came back around and them old rats and rodents was coming around, you said, oh, I beg your pardon. I don't think so. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, you're doing, you're doing your fucking thing, y'all. What is this? Men's a broken heart fairy. Healing from heartbreak. I told, remember I saw that three of swords in the reverse? You guys are moving past this shit and you are over it. You guys may be 36. You guys may be 29. You know what I'm saying? Like, whatever it is. I feel like your past, the heartache and the crying and continuously going back to shit that you know does not serve you. I'm not. I'm going to help you help yourself. I got to let you go. And that is such a Capricorn because I feel like I want to say that Capricorn wanted to help this person, but like this time I gotta help myself. I really do. You see how her corset is brown? I'm grounded. Like I'm tired of these stressful events. Like I'm tired of competing. I'm tired of arguing. I'm tired of listening to what motherfuckers got to say about me because they're just jealous for real. Because why would this bitch lie and tell me that I was supposed to come in at 9 knowing good and goddamn well I was supposed to report to work at 7 and then I come to work and it's all this drama. No, she's lying, this, this, and that. He knew you wasn't lying though. Like, he had your back. But I swear to God, like, this person... Because I want to say, like, if this person can't, like, if the girl really hired the replacement, like, was you really about to do the show without me? I just, it's just, ooh, it's something about, mm-mm. Y'all, let me just let it go. But y'all are over it. Listen, the strength. Because, the listen, the men of hope broke a heart. It's like, 
the strength card in the reverse is like the devil. It's like you giving into temptation. Like you keep trying to entertain and keep trying to work shit out and keep trying to find a reason to allow this person to suck off of you, to eat off of you. You know what I'm saying? Like, no. It's either this or something better. I choose to something better. I choose to move on and, and heal my heart. I choose strength. I choose wisdom. You know what I'm saying? Like, at the end of the day, like, you might, this person may have made the, the, wise, the wise decision and moved on and left whatever with you, but it was still too much room where this person entertained the wrong things and which pulled you down into the chaos. And for that, you will not forgive them. As above, so below. You see that tattooed on her arm? Y'all might have the infinity sign on you in some way. You have the infinity sign tatted on you, on a ring, your earrings, on somehow. Or you may see the infinity sign today, but as above, so below. It's about you conquering your inner demons. Because I want to say... The Capricorn really wanted to try to take this person with them, but listen, I love myself. I love myself, and sometimes in love with myself, it's like I got to release people that were almost willing to release me. Because I want to say that this person almost allowed you to be replaced. And so they seen you stand up for yourself and fight. I want to say that this person was going to allow you to be replaced until they seen that you weren't going out like no bitch. Like, I'm trying to tell you, it went into the seven of wands. Young, into with, when this person realized that you wasn't going to go out like no sucker, then that's when they wanted to run with you. But when people were talking about replacing you and shit, this motherfucker was like, I don't know, well... Well, what does the other person, you know, what is the other person bringing the table? Like, this person could have really entertained interviewing other people for your position. I'm so serious about it. I am so serious about it. But you, mm -mm, you got, mm -mm. what is this? The four, <laughs> the four diamonds. The four diamonds is success in, like, it is, how do I say this? It's like success and power and recognitions and like immaterial things. You know what I'm saying? So like if it was the four clubs, that means that you, you're you hardworking. Like you have a very, very stable work environment. Everything is good. This is like you have a very, very stable material foundation. Do you understand what I'm saying? Like you worked very hard and... You have material security. Um, you could have just purchased a new house, a new car. Um, a lot of material wealth and possessions. But this is in the reverse. So with this being in the reverse, it's like... I'm not going to continue to extend my abundance to someone. Because remember, this is the strength here. The strength is about overcoming your temptations. You understand? Not being weak, being stable, being strong. So again, remember, it's I I'm helping you be only because this person was willing to run with the Capricorn. The Capricorn carried this person with them through the Underground Railroad to get to this new start, this new beginning. But the strength came in with I gotta cut you off right here. That's what, do you feel this person's energy on this card? This person feels stupid. Like, for real, you about to just leave me here? Yeah, I ain't, you got to figure this shit. You ain't coming with me, Slim. You is not coming with me. Oh, no. You're not coming with me. It says, oh, oysters, come and walk with us. The war, uh, the warriors did beseech. And y'all know what the warriors and that goddamn carpenter did with them damn oysters. They tricked it away from its mother and ate them. You see what I'm saying? So it's like the freaking walrus and the carpenter tricked the oysters away from their mother, put them in some pot with vinegar, butter, and hot sauce, and ate their eggs. Do you understand what I'm saying, sweetness? So this could be someone. Remember when I was saying, like, this person is nothing. This person has nothing. You know what I'm saying? Like, this this person, I want to say they let people talk about you. They let, they 
allow competition to ensue until they realize that you wasn't no bitch. Like this person could have waited and watched you successfully graduate a phase in your life and, and thought, oh, like this person's going to a new beginning. Like I'm going, but you know you're not. No, you're not. Be careful because this could be someone that literally trying to eat you. Like trying to eat your material wealth, your material gain because they see solid foundation and security around you. That's why you're like, oh no, I beg your pardon. Like this isn't love. Like you're a rat, you're a rodent, your varmint. Your varmint. You see what I'm saying? Like your varmint. And then they just said, I'm not going to go run and hide. I'm not going to run and hide. I'm going to come out. I'm going to be out. I feel like you may be outward with this information. You may literally tell someone, I'm moving on because it's this or something better. I prefer the certain, I prefer the better. Like, I got it, like, like, it was fun while it lasted, but love is bittersweet. Tongue, pit, tongue kiss and passion, hoping we can play for keeps. Time will show true colors. It's more than love and sex between the sheet. If you let it fly away, if it comes back, then it's meant to keep. That was a song that I wrote when I was a teenager. I'm going to repeat the lyrics. It was fun while it lasted, but sometimes love is bittersweet. The tongue kiss and passion, you hoping you can play for keeps. Time will show true colors. It's more than just love and sex in between the sheets. If you let it fly away, if it comes back, then it's meant to keep. If you let it fly away, if it comes back, then it's meant to keep. But I gotta go. It's evidence of something better. I gotta show my strength. I'm not gonna let you take what's left of me, what's best of me. You know? This is someone trying to eat your assets. It's like this person may think that you don't have no sense of survival. You showed this motherfucker. I'm smarter than what you think I am. I'm smarter than what you think I am. And justice is always on my side because you got to know when to hold them. You got to know when to fold them. You gotta know when to hold them. You gotta know when to fold them. I really want to say this to someone trying to eat off of your financial security. And I want y'all to watch that. Show strength. Merry, masquerade, glamour, intrigue, and drama. I'm trying to tell you. Y'all have some type of money foundation abundance that the four of pinnacles i mean the, yeah the, listen it's like y'all have some money y'all have money y'all have money it's like y'all might try to it's like y'all may try to mask it but someone is intrigued by your and look and you see the 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 ship in her hair you see the ship in her hair. So you guys may be traveling soon. Again, you guys are traveling, moving away, or you might have just moved, or you know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm again, like I said, it wasn't new beginnings because you dropped the burden and you went into a new beginning because you're moving on to something better. I want to say this is the warning. People can sense your wealth. People can sense your abundance, especially people that want to take from it. Be careful of people trying to live off of your abundance. Because you see that Warris and that Carpenter was so intrigued. Was so intrigued by those oysters. They made it feel loved. They made it feel giving. Oh, we're, we're giving you a, a nice brunch at my house. Come on. You know, this, this, and that. And they didn't do anything but give it to their stomach. 
You understand what I'm saying? Rape, rob, pillage. Murder. And I don't mean to say it like that, but that's what they did. They raped and robbed these oysters from their freaking mother. And then they killed them. They tricked them. And then they killed them. I don't know why the fuck I'm, I'm feeling like I gotta say all of this, young. I'm so serious. And it's not like literally saying death or... It's like murder of your assets. Because people, they see your wealth. They see your glamour. They're intrigued by you. Even the whole drama of the whole situation. You know what I'm saying? Like, be careful. Let me read this. Let me read this. I feel like you need to mass your abundance. Don't try to help people all the time. That's what I'm getting. It's like, you got to move past. And I feel like that's the thing that you need to have strength about. Because this person was trying to take everything after you. You know what I'm saying? Eat your abundance. Like, literally take it all for their self. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, the four of pentacles in the reverse could be someone overgiving. Could be someone not watching their money. It means someone going broke. You know what I'm saying? Like, someone not willing to say, no, I don't have enough money. The bank is closed. A loss of resources. The high priestess in the reverse. The ace of coins. That's good. Time. The high priestess in the reverse represents secrets. Being exposed. Secrets being exposed. This could be a promiscuous person. Um, the other person. Um... The high priestess is typically the other person in a love reading, like the third party, the mistress. Marie Masquerade. And this is the high priestess going into the empress. So the empress is representative of life. Even the high priestess is representative of life. Both of these cards represent childbirth, childbearing, new life. So, I want to say two things. I want to say... This could be the other woman. And you miss someone because you decided to drop a burden with them. Because it wasn't love. I oh, beg my pardon, you're a rat. You had to go within to see that. Now you're coming out. Because you're deciding to move on. You're not going to hiding. It's this or it's something better. But you miss this person and they may miss you. But it's taking strength to mend this broken heart. Because you realize that you were overgiving in this situation. You got the justice. Moving into the hangman. So again. Something happened. That was supposed to happen. Because there was a conflict. In order for you to open up the doors to new. Communication. In order for you to get this. New start. Something that is strong. Something that is. Financially stable. That is going to be re Sourceful forever. I feel like it just took time. I want to say it, it took time for you to graduate past this and invite your heart to heal and to see something for what it was. There was most definitely someone in this situation that caused the conflict and that caused the blockage and that caused drama here. That's why this one was left alone. 
This one was being masked. This one was being hidden. Drama. They said this one couldn't leave well enough alone. So it's like I really do feel like someone, whoever this woman is, she's going to expose herself. She's going to take her mask off. Because she just said, oh, you think he's going somewhere with you? Like, no, he's not going anywhere with you. It's like, no, I'm not going to be hidden anymore. Like, you need to understand who I am. Like, she, I feel like this person could have been there. Because you see, I like how her dress is like an old, like, worn out looking green color. Like, this is, this could have been like an old time lover or something like that, that, Someone was keeping hidden. I really do feel like they were trying to. This person allowed that girl to compete for your role in the circus. For the acrobat position. I, I want to say he lied about it. I want to say it's like he lied about it and made it seem like he didn't know that they were hiring someone else for your position. But you see the moon in the background. Yes, he did. He knew like he the one who orchestrated it. It came out. You got the two of cups and the king of cups. You guys could have been dealing with a water sign. I feel like this is like the mother of his child or something. This is someone he got a child with. This is the two of cups in the reverse. So I feel like. I feel like someone was still entertaining. The high priestess in the reverse, the empress in the reverse. So this could be like the mother of their child that something didn't work out with. The king of cups in the reverse. Like this man could be like a lover boy or something. Like he really loves his kids, but I don't feel like he knows how to be a family man or something. Um, or he may only be entertaining sex with this individual so he could see his son or something like that. Um, I feel like only time would tell and like things are going to come out like there's most definitely things that are being hidden here that you don't know about. There's definitely things being hidden here that you don't know about. The two of, the two of cups is like star-crossed lovers. It's like y'all feel like y'all were meant to be together but y'all are not meant to be together. You know what I'm saying? Like they just said this person belongs with their family. It's like, this man belongs with his family, but he doesn't want to be with his family. It's like, this person may still have a relationship with the kid's mother, but they live separate and they still sleep with each other sometimes. You know what I'm saying? But um, it's like, they will always love each other, but they don't want to be with each other, be with each other. You know what I'm saying? Like, I feel like this is hidden. They don't want no more kids with each other. I feel like their relationship, like this is an old love. This relationship has sailed on. And so has your relationship with this person too. Because you might have been heartbroken finding out about this shit. I want to say he didn't know about this shit. And I want to say this person was taking your money too. Like this person was taking your fucking money. Like... Almost wanting to have it all or something. Like they wanted to eat it all. Or... It's like greed or something. Or it's like they wanted you. They wanted what you were going to give to them. And what this other person that they were hiding from you. Was going to give to them too. The justice is being served in this situation. Because things are coming out. Things are going to be exposed. And I still said I was going to read that. And then I'm out. 14. So it says, ooh, honey, it says there is gossip and intrigue around a person that you admire and wish to be like in some way. This person has a need for a true friend. 
and not the need of an admirer. This card can come up when you experience jealousy and envy of those you feel are undeservedly more, success, more successful or beloved than you are. The message is to focus on your own hard work and to create your own lifestyle. If you are the subject of such gossip, you know you can't control what is said about you. You live your life and move through it with grace. When the Marie masquerade comes up, there are some people around who want to befriend another, but simply for the influence. It is not coming from the heart. And despite her beauty and success, anyone in Marie's position needs a true friend. Look inside to see if you have attempted to network instead of befriend. Know the difference. Do not keep false friends, fair weather friends. Be true to your own vision as opposed to what is currently fashionable and considered desirable. Creating rather than following. Hmm. Let me read, okay. Someone is about to invite you to be involved in something very intriguing. And this person will ask you in ways that are ever so charming, so tempting, okay? So temptation will be ever so strong because this person is beautiful, talented, and powerful. You are flattered. But the truth is you run the risk of paying a very high price for this brush with fame or glory. Be sure that the politics and the intrigues are ones you truly wish for in your life because they are often a sacrifice that must be made and many consequences are currently hidden from you. It is tempted, but no doubt. It may not be within your best interest to pursue this strange, slightly tainted offer that will be made. I'm trying to tell you, it's something hidden that is going to come out. It's something being masked. Do you understand? Like I told you, it's like someone could have given an offer to you that they were offering to someone else because they wanted to take from the both of you. Like you have to be, you have to show strength not to be tempted by this card. Remember I told you the strength card in the reverse is the devil. Okay, it's the devil. Karmic justice will be served here. So I really do. I mean, you're protected. You're good. Only thing you got to do is take those steps. The person trying to show you false love. Recognize them as rat, varmint, verdant. Uh, I beg your pardon. No, thank you. I'm going to walk right past you. I'm going to walk right past you. You went through a conflict with this person when it was competition, jealousy, arguing, fighting backstabbing, betrayal. You ran away with this person because you thought that this person had your back. Whole time, the secrets in the background. This person was the main one that you should have been worried about. Mm, mm, mm. You moved on after God heard your submission and said, I don't feel right about this. I need to let this go, but it's hard and I miss this person. I don't know how to do it. God said, just leave them right here and leave that motherfucker where they stand. I'll make sure that this person goes away. I, I, I just, and you were able to sell on. And I want to say, as you started moving on, that's when this shit started coming out. That's when it caught it started coming out and I think I'm so glad that you moved away when you did because you might have been at the tail end of your money. It's like God keep trying to tell you don't give to this person because this person's going to try to eat you alive. Like this wasn't love. This isn't a true king of cups. I want to say that this person is still involved with an old lover or someone that they have kids with. Time will tell. But something very important, very secure is coming into your life. 
it's evidence of something better. You got to believe that. Please stay strong. Do not be tempted. When God tell you to run, run. When God tell you to walk, walk. When God tell you to talk, talk. Okay? I love you guys. Thank you guys for loving me. Y'all make sure y'all click that like button. And um, make sure to send me some happy birthday wishes on Instagram. Love you.